So now we are going to discuss uh, another operation that is Linglish Traverse, Singly Linglish Traverse. So uh, before going to or discussing Traverse, we have, I, have, I wish to introduce one important attribute that is size of a linguist. So how will you define size of a singly linguist? So size of a singly linguist is defined as number of nodes in the list. So in this case, we are having a list whose size is 5. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So operations are performed on the linked list actually in some cases it will depend on the size of the list. So size is defined as number of nodes in the list. Again one more point, from this structure it is clear that nodes need not be contiguous in the sense if you consider first node its base address is 300, if you consider second node its base address is 100 and if you consider third node it's at location 800. So nodes need not be in a contiguous fashion. That is one difference of singly English as you compare it with uh, array structure. So each element lies in different memory locations. So how can you perform traversal? So traversal in the sense you need to visit each and every node from the starting node, start, starting from the first node and reach the last node. So our aim is to visit uh, all the nodes and display the data part stored in the node. So in order to perform the traversal, you have to take a pointer, let the pointer be P, make it point to starting node. So how will you perform that operation? So first one is you have to create a pointer, take a pointer. In order to point it to first node or starting node or node referred by pointer start, you can perform the assignment p equal to start. So this instruction will, see as far as start is concerned, it is a pointer variable that holds address 300. p is also a pointer of type node that can hold address of uh, node of same type. So through this assignment, you are actually transferring 300 to pointer p in the sense p becomes pointer to first node in the linked list now your aim is to display content in p so how will you refer data part of p so you can use this instruction display p data so assume that this instruction uh, display content stored in the node or a data part stored in the node referred by pointer p. So after displaying this content, what you have to do is, you have to shift this pointer, you have to take this pointer and you have to make it point to the successor node of p. So how will you perform that operation? So it can be performed using the assignment p equal to p link. So P link, so before this shift operation, if you consider point of P, P link is actually 100, which is base address of the successor node of uh, P. So you have performed the assignment P equal to P link. So P will get the value 100, so that P becomes now pointer to the successor node. Now what is the next step? You have to repeat the same operation, display p data. So first execution will print displays d. Now using this instruction we have shifted p to successor node of the node name d. Now we have displayed data stored in p. Again you are shifting the pointer p equal to p link so that p will get shifted to successor of node containing b. Again you are using this instruction, then you will be displaying G, again performing the shift operation, you are displaying A, again you are performing shift operation, you are displaying F, 
So what happens if we perform one more shift operation that using the instruction P equal to P D. After displaying uh, content in the last node, if you perform this assignment P equal to P link, P will turn to P will turn to none. So you have to you have to perform this operation until P until it satisfies this particular condition. So you can write this pseudo code Y Y P not equal to null. Do these two steps. You have to repeatedly perform the display operation followed by shifting the pointer until P become equal to null. Whenever P reaches null, the loop will terminate. So this particular pseudo code simply performs traversal of a link list starting from the start node. So what happens if link list is empty? So how will you define a uh, define an empty link list? You just create a pointer start, initialize it to null. So if a link list is empty, P will get null value and whenever it checks this condition, it, without entering into the loop body, it will exit from the loop. It will never enter into the loop body. So you can uh, address uh, such trivial cases during implementation. Before performing traversal, you have to check whether link list is empty or not. So how will you check it? Just check start equal to null or not. If start is null, you don't need to perform uh, traversal. You can just give the statement link list is empty. Otherwise, take the point of P, make it point to start node. Then you have to iterate until you reach the last node. During each iteration, you have to display the content stored in the node followed by shifting the pointer to its successor node. So that process will be repeated until P become equal to none. Then one more point regarding runtime of this particular uh, operation. So assume that you are going to display a particular link list or traverse a particular link list whose size is whose size is 5. In this case size is 5. So you will be uh, you can you can count number of execution of this while loop. So it will it will uh, first it will move to node starting node it will perform display operation it will go to second node then it will go to third node and so on until it reaches the last node. So for each execution of the while loop it will visit a node. So number of execution of the while loop is purely dependent on the number of nodes in the chain. If you are having a link list of size 5, loop body will get, get executed exactly 5 times. Again if you are having a link list of size 20, loop, loop body will get executed 20 times. If you are having a link list of some 1000 size, loop body will get executed 1000 times. In the sense, this particular traversal operation is dependent on is it's directly dependent on the size of the link list and you can say that traversal is bounded by order of n where n is size of the link list or n is number of nodes in the link list that's it